Want to quickly unlock purple systems? You can do that with a save editor if you have access to one. Save editing is dangerous and limited to those who play on PC via Steam or PC Game Pass, those who play on Mac, or those who play on PlayStation 4. No matter where you're playing, you should back up your save files before touching them with a save editor and consider whether you should do that at all anyway. Even if you don't have access to a save editor, backing up your save files is a good idea for every platform, so check out this video on your screen. One of my Discord server moderators, Dragon Ninja, aka No, created this short guide to help you in case you have a save file that you really want to unlock purple systems but can't bother to play the game all the way to that point. We encourage you to play the game normally at least once before you consider doing this. But in case you decide to do this, good guess for here with the help of Dragon Ninja, so let's get started. Before I continue, thanks to Amina, the latest channel member. Thank you for supporting the channel. Okay, first things first, you can do this with any save editor. I've tested this on PC with both Steam and PC Game Pass files using the Goat Fungus save editor, link in the description, and I've used NomNom in the past, and it's basically the same. If you're on PS4, the procedure is a bit different, and I don't have experience with that, so if you do, please comment so we can all know. Anyway, after opening the save editor, choose the save file you want to unlock purple system for. I want to do this for my main ship gifting save file, so I don't have to tell players to meet me at non-purple systems. If this is the first time using a save editor, it may ask for the location of the save files. Again, I refer you to the video I showed earlier, link in the description. That video has those locations, and I added them in this video's description too. And I urge you again to back up your save files. Once the save file is loaded, you open the menu and select Edit Raw JSON. This opens a dialog like this. Notice, if the save editor is showing categories on the left, the first of the four values is in the Common State Data category, so make sure that's selected. Then use Ctrl F to search. On Mac, that will be Command F, of course, and either type Purple with a capital P or Untick Case Sensitive. If you don't see what the search has found, it may be hiding below, so scroll down a bit. There it is. Carefully change the word False to True. Use small letters, not capitals, and if there's a comma after the original false, make sure it stays. In this case, there isn't, so don't add one. Then select the Base Context category on the left. The Goat Fungus Save Editor asks if you want to save the changes you already made. Click Yes. Now search again. Notice the first find is not one of the other three items we are looking for. Search again. This time we see all three items are in the same area. Carefully modify these three false values to true, keeping them uncapitalized and keeping the commas that follow each of them. Close the JSON editor window. The Goat Fungus Save Editor again asks if you want to save the changes. Click Yes. On the main tab, click Save Changes, and when that's done, exit the Save Editor and come visit in New Alaria. If you need any assistance getting there, please join the Discord server and don't hesitate to ask. Good guest for here, and I'll see you again soon.